You guys, please keep it going for three-time Grammy Award winners, Ozo Motley. And of course, the man that put the word high in Hialeah. Give it up for Martin! Nice. Martin, man. It's our final episode. It went by way, way, way too fast, It went bro. by way too fast. Now, we've been having such a great time doing this show, and uh, yeah, episode six. Episode six. I'm thinking back to last year. Remember last year when everybody kept saying, um, you look like that dude from Operation Repo? <laughs> So, yeah. Well, somebody tweeted me, and uh, we found you a new lookalike for this year. Just I have keep, a new lookalike. Yes, just to keep t t tradition, check it out. What? Really? <laughs> You're crazy, Martin. <laughs> what is that with the glasses? Let me see. Let me just put on the glasses, Martin. Let me see your glasses. All right, let's see how close it is. Where is it? Is it really? Oh, wait, hold on. That is too funny, Martin. Well, it just so happens that somebody tweeted my ass too. Oh yeah. And apparently you have a lookalike as well. Oh really? Yes. No, no, no. You mean to tell me somebody else was able to duplicate this? <laughs> I don't believe it. Bro, I found your looking like. Hey, can we put the uh, picture up? <laughs> wow. I do not look like that. <laughs> Bro, you look like, I've seen you look like that after a good hangover. Well, you guys, uh, six episodes of Stand Up Revolution. We wanted to do something a little special, a little bit different, but also uh, kind of bring something back from the past. And we've been getting a lot of people yelling out, Martin, and some people asking me if I'm going to do some of the old jokes. And yes and no. I got a little something special for you guys. Uh, some really amazing animators have gotten a hold of some of my old footage, and they actually put some of my stand-up comedy to a cartoon. And, uh, well, we got a couple clips. You guys want to see one? Yeah. So check this out, you guys, for the first time ever. Fluffy classic clips. Three years ago, I bought a beetle, not even thinking. That's not the joke, shut up. I wasn't thinking, I bought the car because it was affordable, economical, brand new freaking beetle for like 17 grand. I was like, ah! first new car. I go to show it off at my friend Martin's house. I thought it was nice, I pull up, you know. He lives in the hood, I don't get out the car. <laughs> Across the street, there are these gang members. The kind of gang members, they don't really get into, you know, like shooting people and stuff like that. They just hang out on the porch and talk a lot of smack. And so I'm there in a beetle and across the street, I hear this, right? I'm like, Martin! And over here, I hear, Orale! <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? How'd you get in there, is it? <laughs> later I go back to pick them up now I've had some time to work on the car right I put some rims on it some stickers I put a chip in the motor so it goes faster I thought it was bad right I pull up Martin! Orale! Uh -uh, I'm not turning around hey. Mm -mm. Hey. I don't see you You guys ready to get this thing going? Yeah. What I'm saying, coming to the stage is one of the funniest people I have ever seen, you guys. Put your hands together to show your love for my friend, Mr. Ian Bag. Oh, oh, thank you. Hi, how are you? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, it's good to be here. Good to be here? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, uh... I am Catholic, but I don't have to go to church anymore because my grandma died. 
That's right, she took one for the team and we got our Sundays back. It is awesome. We can have pancakes any day of the week now, old lady. All right, usually gets last, whatever, okay. Not a pancake crowd, I get it, I understand. I'm very Catholic, I was actually molested. Thank you for laughing. No, seriously, thank you for laughing, because I've had people boo that before, which is weird. Why would you boo the victim? It's not like it was my fault, like I wore a lot of chapstick that day and was winking. <laughs> Your fault, shiny lips. Relax, I didn't blow anybody, just got my <laughs> fondled. It's a true story, I actually got money from the church. I got $8,677, worth it. <laughs> Jesus totally bought me my first car, and I got a Trans Am. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, the claps are nice, but any chance of you guys laughing at this shit? All right, let's move on. I know there's a lot of young people in here. I can feel it, get ready to crazy, get crazy. Is there anybody got kids? Does anybody have kids here? Yeah. All right, so all the young people have kids. All right, it's quite the crowd. How big was your biggest baby when it was born, ma'am? You said you had a kid. Did you You just said you had a kid. Scrub. Did you have a kid? Do you remember one day you went to the hospital, your vagina hurt, and then you wrote something in a book? <laughs> oh. Now, do you have a child or not? Because I can play with somebody else, but this is weird, all right? You're very pretty, but talking is not your strong suit, so let's move on. <laughs> oh, don't owe me back there. You're not dealing with this. I'm trying to do a TV show. I had a kid. No, I didn't. <laughs> do you have a child? Nice. Now, how big was that baby when it was born? <laughs> Seven pounds, all right, that is a nice size baby. Would you even have to go to hospital to have a seven pound baby? Probably not. Probably just walk into your front yard. <laughs> flick it out there, have a cat lick it clean, take it home and raise that baby. All right, I went a little too far there, I apologize. You should never have a cat lick a baby clean. Always have a puppy lick a baby clean. Cats have those crazy tongues, give a kid waffle skin for six weeks, that's bull don't need no grass-covered waffle skin baby hanging on your front yard. That's a big baby, not massive though. I had one lady, one show, she had a 12 and a half pound baby. Yes, yes, yes. And let me tell you right now, the vagina just does not snap back after 12 and a half pounds. How do I know? It was a windy night. And after she left the show, it sounded like a didgeridoo from Australia coming down the street. All you could hear was Slap, slap. Okay, how is that not funny to everybody? Seriously. There's only one way that's not funny to somebody. My father was killed by a big vagina. You're an ass. It was a windy night. He was just walking down the street. Took his head clear off his body. It was a terrible night to be a midget. All right, what do you guys want to do? So far, it's not my comedy. Let's get out of here. Let's just go to a Subway Sandwiches or a Quiznos and beat the into whoever's in there as a group. They'll never see it coming. You lead us. You don't know how to order sizes. <laughs> seven inch, I'll have a seven inch, I'll have a seven inch. And we'll just start beating the hell out of them, all right? Yeah, black people, you stay in the car because it's probably going to get blamed on you no matter what. <laughs> but as I look around, that's you too. <laughs> wow, this is the weirdest show I've ever done. Two black people, good luck. <laughs> After the show, don't go first, all right? Don't go first. We leave, because it's gonna look like we're chasing you out very slowly. <laughs> but don't go last either, because then it's gonna look like you're chasing us out very slow. <laughs> oh my God, what kind... <laughs> what kind of stand-up revolution happened in there? <laughs> I love Florida. A lot of the girls wear my favorite outfit here, the high heels and shorts, oh my God says so much about a girl. It says, I'm going to the prom, but there could be a barbecue. <laughs> yes. what, if, what if there's corn? Get my eating shorts. <laughs> you ever take a picture of your junk with your cell phone and send it to your lady? <laughs> Liar. That's what technology is about. How do I get my penis to that girl quicker? Everybody does it. I do it, but I'm classy. I put a sunset behind it. <laughs> Pull my sack to the side. Pull my sack to the side. Make it look like a long-necked duck going south for the winter. <laughs> Girl. 
girl who receives that picture, she has no idea what she's gotten for half an hour. What the hell is this? 45 minutes later. <laughs> he is so artsy. A lot of different kinds out there. I've seen this one girl, she just had a little patch of hair there. You ever see that? It looks like a Hitler mustache. Just an angry little Oh, there's going to be so much trouble later on. What? Have your papers in order. If you want to get on flight 1745, Lufthansa are leaving Miami noon tomorrow. You scare the out of me. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thanks for listening. Bye. And speaking of that, I get pulled over by a cop one night, two minutes after coming out of a Krispy Kreme drive-thru. All right? Don't get ahead of me. Watch, I made a left turn instead of making a right, but I wasn't paying attention because I had a box. I was like, oh, you're going to get it when you get home. Oh, you've been so bad. So, ah, you're going to get it? I'm not paying attention. I go the wrong way, right? Sure enough, I pull over. Mm. Later. I'm sitting there patiently waiting, and the cop is taking forever. I said, the hell with this, he's taking too long. I grab my box, I put it on my lap, I flipped it open, right? Um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, I was gonna get nasty. And just as I was about to tear it up, the cop gets to the window and says the same thing that they all say, right? You know why I stopped you? It was too easy. I looked at him and I said, because you can smell it. <laughs> there you have it. We'll be right back for more Stand Up Revolution. Hey! It's Welcome back to Stand Up Revolution. You guys, we saved this man for our season finale, right, Martin? Dude, they are in for a treat. You guys are in for a super treat. This man has no reason to be here other than he's a great friend and he's really excited to do the show. I want you to put your hands together and show your love for the very funny Mr. Pablo Francisco! What's up, everybody? It's good to be here up here in Miami. Yeah. That's right. On the next Judge Judy, she's more rude than ever. Shut up! Let's see the receipt! That's right. That's right. She doesn't know you. She wasn't there. She can give a crap about you. She asked you to come on the show only for her to just to yell at you. Be quiet! Who are you? That's right. She studied law for 25 years. All for what? The gerbil cage is his! That's right. She's Judge Judy. Who are you? Who are you? I'm here to try to make Shut up! Let's see the receipt! I'm the boss, Applesauce! That's right. She looks like she's passing a stone. What? And she's married to another judge. Can you believe that? I love you. Prove it! Let's see the receipt! Hell's Kitchen. Get ready for Hell's Kitchen. Who is this bunch of what is this avocado? That's right. He's a culinary chef. What the hell is he doing in a f kitchen? What the f I He has a new cookbook coming out called The Joy of Cooking. He has a bald spot. Pablo has a he went to Bosley Hair Institute, where he paid ten thousand dollars for these hairs. The girl right there. He has hair on his ass. Hair in his crack. There's a Starbucks right in there. He has a hair on his back. Over here. Over. Screw it! This is this is bald spot music. Hey, what's up? From the front, it's hip hop. Go check me out, man. I'm VIP. Bald spot. It's burning up right now. The lights are burning. It's burning it up. Are you in good hands? He needs, 
he needs a tattoo of a brown spot to go on the white spot and make sure he gets called on the white spot. <laughs> but why don't I make fun of homosexuals? Homosexuals, there's a lot here in uh, South, <laughs> here in Miami. <laughs> Yeah, he goes, I got a letter from some homosexual that said, Pablo, we're gonna kick your ass. The name of, you know what the name of the gang was? The Pink Panther Gang. <laughs> Stinker cakes. <laughs> they go, meet us at PF Chains at, on Saturday. I was like, PF Chains on Saturday? Screw that. So I didn't go, and now I get all these threats. They're gonna kill him. They're gonna, they're gonna do a drive-by. How do homosexuals do a drive-by? <laughs> they grab a bunch of Skittles and throw them and go, taste the rainbow. Thanks a lot, everybody. Y'all take care. Your sweat is up. Look at this. Pablo Francisco, keep it going. We'll be right back. Martin, is this not one of the most amazing shows? One of my favorite shows this season, bro. One of my favorite. It's, it's such as the last one. So, uh, uh. We weren't sure if we were coming back for season two, and we got a season two, so hopefully things go good and we get a season three, maybe? maybe. Let's see what happens, Martin. But until then, you guys, I saved the best for last. Check out another fluffy classic. Sometimes I use my voices for evil, man. I won't lie. If I don't have my way, like when I go to drive throughs and they screw up my order, oh, I'm evil. I go back around and I start ordering, but I throw them off by doing this, right? They'll come on the speaker. I got a fantastic burger. How can I help you? And I'll do this. Hello, sir. <laughs> can I please have a double cheeseburger and order fries and a shake? <laughs> double cheeseburger, order fries and a shake. Oh my God, yes. Thank you. Pull up to the window. And I pull up. <laughs> oh, they're not expecting me. <laughs> Oh, the look on their face is the best, right? Did you just order? <laughs> they come back with a bag of food, you know. Um, would you like ketchup? That's where I let them have it. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> That's our show, you guys. Thank you so much for keeping us on TV. We love you.